Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Taco Bites, your daily bite of DGen number 172, recap of Zen Friends IRL in the daily bite. We have listen, listen in the crowd. How are you doing tonight? Good to see. Good to see. Good to see. Uh, no, um, we're going to just go over a little bit. We got to do some pretty cool interviews with some other people last night. Uh, Lisa, I saw you were here most of the night. Um, thank you. Uh, I Come on up. How are you doing? I see the heart. That means you're coming up, right? We can wait. Ah, uh, all right, Lisa. I see. I see you being shy, and that is okay. And I don't even want to call it being shy. Time. Yay! You're there. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> all right. So, uh, man, you were you you were listening all night last night. Um, what did uh What did you? Uh, how was how was how was your night? last night it was good i was actually really surprised with some of the people that were speaking like um i learned some stuff that was that i didn't know and this is why i always listen to your space because i end up with more knowledge than what i came with so thank you <laughs> well hey thank you yeah no it was it was pretty awesome getting to talk to so many people even someone that you know has been in crypto for just a little bit like um, I don't want to call him an ETH maxi, but, uh, you know, he had just gotten into it, you know, f into this other project, if you into Zen a few days ago, but like, and, uh, yeah, no, it, it was, and people that had been around for a minute, you know, um, uh, I was the oldest person in the room, I think, um, and, and, which makes me feel old, I guess. I don't know. No, it doesn't. Um, at times it does, my body does, but, uh, no, they're, they're great, great thoughts on people and talking about what, what excites them because it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, one of those things where you get to sort of hear other people's views on different tokens and how they see blockchain. Um, so yeah, no, what was your biggest takeaway from last night? Honestly, just learning about um, Hex, because, like, I had no idea about that at all. So I was, like, looking it up and reading the white paper and um, just, like, and then there was something else that you guys were talking about, like, NFTs on a blockchain. And I was like, oh, wait, there's NFTs on this blockchain? So I started looking into that. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, so, yeah. Like I said, yep. anytime you're on, I'm always on because I always learn something different. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, you you do a you do a ton of stuff too. I learned from you as well. So, what are you? What's going? What's new in Raven? Um, I mean, what isn't new in Raven? We're still like developing. You know what I mean? So. Um, we're actually, my company, Just NFTs, um, just bought out a marketplace and we, um, it's a blind mint marketplace. So you upload your NFT and it's pretty much like a casino. So whatever you get, you get, you know? Okay. Uh, if you need a credit card for mint or credit card for, uh, Fiat to crypto for on ramping. I got you. Yes, for sure. We need to like link up because that's our biggest issue right now is an on ramp from like fiat to crypto. Yeah, uh, no. Um, I've worked for Simplex for the last year, and then I just started with Banksa uh, as well. So, yeah, Th you know, it it's a great solution. You know. 
And what I like about Banksa, this is this is this will sound the, these these sound degenic, but then also ease for like onboarding new people. One, there's no major KYC for you know under seven hundred and fifty dollars a month, and then it, it's integrated with Google Pay and Apple Pay, so it's pretty simple. That's, uh, I, that's yeah, that's cool. So, um, but yeah, no, um, send me a message on Telegram. And and we I'll get that ball rolling. So um, awesome! Can you DM yeah, no. me your email? I can't. I, I I thought you already had it, but I will make I will send it to you again. Okay, just <laughs> I don't have so it. that it's there. Um, do 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 do. But yeah, no. Um, boop. There's me, and. uh Ask me for a code word and I'll say blue, just so you know you have the right person. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I went, went well. Te- like I have like six fake Telegram accounts that people like or that people made, um, and so Telegram is one of those like there's no way to really like verify. Like you just start talking to someone and they're like, oh yeah, and they're answering all the questions semi, you know, and then you're like, wait a second. Let me Scooby do this, and you are not who you said you are. And you know, yeah. So that's the fun part of things. The fun part of Telegram: talking to someone for like two days, and they're the wrong person. Oh no, I can't even believe that happened to you. But I'm not surprised because, like, you're awesome. So I could see that as like, you know, uh kind of a two-way street like it sucks that somebody's impersonating you but at the same time it's kind of validation that you've made it in this space right uh yeah uh, yeah no i don't yeah it's it, it's well it's just bad because like the connections i make are real you know and like and and so my running joke is i will never ask you for money in a, in a text it will always be a video um, like I, cause like I had a friend, I had a fr- I had a friend in Germany who said that they got it. Like they, they screenshotted this whole conversation with, to me that they were in like a supermarket, they were shopping and stuff and they thought they were talking to me for a minute. And then like, I asked them for like, Hey, I'm in an emergency. Can you send me 50 bucks worth of like BNB or something like that? And they were like, they, they're like, Oh my God, I actually was trying to do that, but I didn't have. I didn't have enough to send it. I didn't have the right wallet with me or else I would have sent. I'm like, holy fuck. You know, like, like, I don't know. It's just, I meet, I get to meet wonderful people and like people like really try to go out of their way, but like the friendships I make are are real, you know? So it's, it's sort of cool that someone like a random person that I've only ever talked to on the internet, um, would, uh, would send me 50 bucks, you know, but, you know, out of the blue when I don't have that type of relationship with that person, but then that like scammers are trying to do that, you know, that's, that's the bad shit. Yeah, that is bad shit. Are you going to, uh, outer banks or NFTLA? Uh, what is outer banks? They, so they've rebranded. So NFTLA. Oh yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it is yeah. on the agenda to go to Outer Banks. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Um, you know, need a protocol or project to fund me going. Um, right now, um, I do have on the agenda ETH Denver and going to like uh, Interlope, WalletCon, um, near Supermoon. There's like five conferences and Decentral all around, all around uh, ETH Denver, right before ETH Denver. Um, so I'll be there for those. And then I might be going to South by Southwest if a project, uh, funds that, um, and then, uh, going to, um, Outer Banks, NFTLA, um, you know, if, if a project funds that, you know, so it's on the agenda, it's on, on the calendar. Um, but having a project pay for that is, is sort of what's, what's needed. Yeah, for sure. If you go, 
message me because I'm going to NFTLA and I'll be uh, in NYC. So if you go to any of those, message me. Oh, so we. Uh, can- I will. I will. I will be at NYC. NFT at okay. NYC so- for sure. Yeah. Okay. So I'll see you there then. Yeah. Oh, it looks like we are getting bombarded by uh, the nerds. Let's. Uh, I don't know if if they're if they're if if they're coming up to to talk, um, or if they're just or if they're just haunting spaces tonight. Oh, they're just haunting. Okay, yeah. Um, NFT NYC is. On, I'm 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 literally living like four blocks, no, eight blocks away from where NFT NYC is going to be. Yeah, I'm staying in uh, Margaritaville, the okay. hotel. I, yeah, the, I, the hotel. I was I was there last year. I uh, went to Margaritaville. Um, uh, got to meet, and I I will always say it wrong, but Andrew Yang, the the like senator or Congress guy or politician guy. I, I know he's a politician. I don't even know what state. Florida? Maybe New York? That's how horrible I am on politics, usually. Um, but got to meet him there. So, yeah. But Margaritaville was an awesome time. Yeah. The, so it was either there or they were, like, with another hotel. So I just decided on that one because I was like, we'll just stay here because it sounds fun. <laughs> Uh, nice yeah um yeah no i i know d gods is taking over a hotel um like a public hotel or something like that um and uh yeah so but uh it's uh it's gonna be cool um, NFT NYC is going to be off the hook. I know. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> this is my first year going and I'm so excited. You should tweet it. And I'm, oh, that's the new thing. I should, I should tweet at NFT NYC to, to have people tweet at NFT NYC to have me speak. Would you be willing to do that? Fuck yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Nice. Are, are both of you guys coming? No, just me. Oh, okay. Um, are both both of you guys going to be in LA? Yes, both of us will oh. be in LA. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, no, that's going to be amazing. There's going to be um, a heck ton of people from from NFT and or from Las Vegas there too. I think so. It will be like it will be like a reunion. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, it's uh, I saw Xander. He disappeared. I don't know if people are getting rugged out of out of here or not. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, uh, that that'll be awesome. Um, I don't know. Um, uh, last night's meetup was pretty cool. Ended up staying out till like 2 a.m. Uh, DJing uh, with this other couple, like just talking blockchain. And uh, he got me hooked on to um, this other project or, or didn't get me hooked, but got me like peaked on this other project that had bananas. And um, I haven't done folding at home where you do the protein folding off of your computer for a while. Um, but they pay out in banana. If you fold at home, uh, they pay out in bananas. I'm like, heck yeah, I'll go do social good for a day and help and like earn some, some crypto. So that was sort of, that's sort of funny stuff, but yeah, no, I, it was, it was just sort of the IRL stuff is just amazing. So have we're, uh, yeah, no, it's been a long day. Um, all right, here's a question for you. Golden Samosa on chain. If a restaurant were to put out an NFT uh, to where you could have one samosa free a day, 
uh, for that NFT for like six months, would you buy it? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm working, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this shop owner. He did, he did a project last year, but he got rug pulled by his partner. So, um, went to go try to help him tonight and we were supposed to sit down and have a plan, but New York had, this is really hilarious. New York had a freeze like yesterday. And so like some pipes burst in, in a couple buildings, but like even in the buildings where like they're 80 degrees or hotter all day, um, they still had pipes freeze. That's how sort of cold it got in the middle of the night. Um, and you know, having to deal with that stuff, that was, that's, that's bad, but shows the age of some of the buildings and stuff that happened in my building too. Um, so I don't know. Um, but I'm going to try, I'm trying to help this restaurant get, get, get his samosas back on chain. So would you do it if it was on Solana? Yes, because I am, you should be proud of me, I am going into Solana more. I just bought two NFTs tonight. <laughs> What'd you buy? I bought, hang on, let me pull it up. I bought a newer one, I know for sure. Um, so I bought Zombie. It's a newer one that I saw um food for zombies or brains.zombie.rip okay and then what was the other one oh tess they're brand brand new tess the tes- tesso pilots no tesso morphia okay yeah they're like goddesses oh nice um yeah. you might um you might like Coral Tribe, uh, Trip and Ape Tribe. I, I gotta love, and then you know Liberty Square. Um, Liberty Square has uh, two collections out: Liberty Square and The Hollowed. Um, I love those. I love all of those. Um, and then DM me your Phantom Wallet address, and I will send you a surprise. Really, you don't have to do that. Yeah. Oh. And I bought a Degen Town too. Ooh, I love Degen Town. Uh, are, did you hop in their Discord? No, the Discord link wouldn't work for me. Um. All right, I will find the Discord link and I will send it to you. Um, Degen, did you buy a Resurrected or um, or a, a Living? It looks Resurrected. Okay. Yeah. Like sort of like it's sort of got like um yeah, okay. Yeah, they have there's three collections like ooh, do you do you want to know the story of DJ Town? <laughs> 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 the story of DJ Town. It launched skyrocketed. Um I got it I I missed the mint. I was driving late at night. Um and basically the, so they were all living you know, uh, NFTs and the Twitter spaces were just literally like fire crackling pot brewing stuff, sacrifice sounds, you know? And then like there was, then there was one Twitter space that was like Morris code saying like, you know, uh, you must feed the fire, you know, we have souls to collect type of like, um, I literally got out like a Morris code translator, um, to get it. And, uh, but like then, um, and so I paid like 10 soul for this NFT and I sent, and then like the next day I, I sent it to a burn address. Um, and, um, it, yeah. And I was like, wait, what the hell did I just do? I literally just bought something and I burned it. Um, and then like a few days later I got a, I got a resurrected, um, you know, sphere. And then the, and it started like transforming over the next few days a little bit and like getting a little bit more deeper then. And like, it was the fever pitch was just going crazy on it at that time. Um, uh, the team or one of the team members, 
one of the team members um, tried, pulled a rug pull, uh, one, uh, Ramo, and he posted like a, a, a phishing link on the Twitter um, because originally the, it was like no website, no, no discord, um, no, no, uh, no anything basically. And then all of a sudden they had a website and it was like stake your DJ, stake your, stake your resurrected or something like that. Um, and I was, I was doing too many double D's. I was driving while distracted, um, you know, or, you know, DJ, DJing while driving, uh, you know, DJing while, uh, driving in the rain, uh, DJing while talking about DJing, um, DJing while sleep deprived and, um, just too many double D's that I did not wait for the transact. Like I like hit the approve button wait before I, w- I let the transaction load of what was going to happen. My entire wallet got slipped. Oh no. Yeah. And, um, and so I was like, F this, that sucks. Um, and like all like a ton of original mints and stuff like that I lost. Um, and so I then had to, um, you know, yeah, I lost, I lost everything out of that wallet, which really sucks. Um, and, um, it then, uh, went, uh, you know, uh, you know, I saw another DJ in town, you know, I kept, you know, another DJ in town sort of Twitter profile, like pop up. And I was like, when refund type of stuff all the time. And then they finally, they're like, Hey, you know, uh, we were the community. We took over, we got the assets, we're making a discord. And so I started hopping in the discord a little bit here and there. And, um, then, uh, I, uh, ended up talking with one of the, like the, the new leader basically, um, one day and like we senpai um and we became friends and he's like yeah no like this like this is what happened here's the spreadsheets this is how they like this is where every all the assets sort of went you can like sort of see that and um it's uh it was really crazy to watch but um um then all of a sudden then magic eden stepped up and like, because magic Eden had sort of been like, uh, working behind the scenes, like, because like they were trying to change policies and stuff like that, but magic Eden, uh, stepped up and they were going to help fund D gen town, you know, like resurrect itself, so to speak. And from there, um, the, 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 the new leadership and inst- they, they couldn't make everyone whole from what was stolen, but they used like 70% of the funds that magic Eden sent them to, uh, instead, uh, reef, like send back to everyone that got, got their wallet slipped because a, a heck ton of people got their wallet slipped, which really sucked. But, um, it, they, 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 you know, they didn't make me whole, but they attempted to, and, and they didn't even like, they just had, they had a math formula for everyone. And, so it was sort of cool to see, but I, I'm bullish on DGen Town doing some cool things. So make sh- I would suggest get like a resurrected and a, a living, just just so you have both sides of the story. Will do. Yeah, but uh, yeah, um, I, I love Phantom. Just you know Solana, just for how easy it is to send send NFTs and stuff like that, and. Um, it's, it's fun. You know, it's, it's one of those really cool things that, that you can do. Um, boom, got this. This is how easy it is. I literally, I got, just got your, I got your, um, thing. Boom. I'm not even going to wait for NFTs to load. I'm going to hit that one right there. Let's get it. Once it loads, oh. and we're going to send. I don't even know what I'm sending you. NFT-wise, sent. 
pick. Let's make it two. Just so you can keep I don't one. Want to do that, Mom. Just so you can keep one and, and if one ever becomes anything, makes you know, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Welcome to Solana. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you didn't yeah. have to do that. <laughs> so yeah. Um that's sort of yeah. I don't know. That's sort of that's what, that's what we do. Um. So yeah, no. Uh, there's some good stuff. If you're looking, are you looking at doing any DeFi stuff in Solana? I haven't looked that far. So, what are your suggestions? Uh, Orca and Radium are the two major ones. Um, I I really like. Uh, uh, I see Jeff. Um, and, uh, I, uh, I use radium and Orca and, uh, they're just super simple and, and great UIs. Uh, radium has a great UI for the phone. Um, I see you. Um, yep. Um, and so, uh, yeah, no. Uh, Radium is my my little DeFi platform that I really like. Um, they they have a, a lot of the ecosystem farms there, so you know there's some outrageous APRs and APYs there um, as they get to you know new tokens launch. But you know, hey, you 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 know, it's one of those things where you got to be careful. You could be someone else's liquid liquidity, you know, um, if if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't take off, you know, so. Yeah, that's sort of, you know, there, you know, and then there's, you know, the Franck and Bonk stuff and it's just, there's good stuff. But welcome to the stage, Jetman. Yo, what's up, bro? Good morning, good morning, GM, GM. Yeah, good morning, bro. What's up, Lisa? Hi, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see you guys are having a lot of fun on here, so I decided to just pop up and uh, shout out to to Gray over there. What's up, Taco, my man? Not much, Jet. Uh, you know, had a great uh, IRL meetup last night with the uh, Zen community and stuff like that uh, with some of the people that are here local. And... Uh, you know, ended up doing a Twitter space live from, from there last night. Um, and just got to interview a whole bunch of people that, you know, in blockchain and, uh, ended up the, the wait getting the waitress into blockchain as well. Got her, uh, set up on, uh, on Coinbase and on MEXC so that she could start learning from about it there. So that's sort of fun. Um, Yeah. And then showed her how to get a, a a phantom wallet as well as a MetaMask wallet. So, yeah, that's sort of that was sort of my night. And then the day I, I got to just I, I spent the last two hours in uh, Camp Kilmer. Um, it's a uh, Twitter space Val Kilmer. Um, you know, really working to support digital artists and um, a, a digital artist I know. His name is Manny. Was launching his collection uh, Seeds. Um, and uh you know got to be up on stage and support him with that and so that was that was that's sort of been the day you know and then spring cleaning it's amazing bro it's amazing yeah. last last week we had our first uh two the spaces for the year i think last week the last two weeks how'd I it go you know how did how did it, it go good. Was good. Zen Master was up there to talk about um, Zen, and I also had to talk about some one or two projects. You know, we do have some unfinished stuff. You know, we do. I, we do. <laughs> we do, sir. Um, and so, and and that is one hundred percent my fault. I will just let you know that that is my fault, and I'm working on that. Um, let's get it. We can get a call scheduled this week. 
sure. Um, anytime today or Wednesday after the works, you know. Wednesday might be better. Yeah, Wednesday. Good. Yeah. Um, you know. Um, yeah, because. Yeah, Wednesday. Let's let's plan for Wednesday. Okay, let's do Wednesday then. All right. Perfect. Hey, Holani. Welcome to the spaces. Yeah. So, how did the Zen space go? It was good, bro. It was good, bro. So, um, Zen Master was talking about uh, how to mean Zen and how to move to the layer one, you know. So, yeah, it was good. It wasn't all for Gust and Zen, though. So, we had all the stuff that we talked about in the spaces. And the turn up was good, you know, for something that we haven't done for almost um, five months. So it was good. It was good. We didn't have like the massive turn up we usually have in our Twitter spaces, you know, like 400, 500 persons tuning in. But it was good still, you know. So yeah, the spaces was good. It, <coughs> I've had those those spaces. I, I love them. They're cool. Yeah. You just, they just sort of feed you with energy. I feel bad because you got to recycle speakers so much on that, you know, but people, so it's, it's sort of hard on those, on those ones sometimes, but you know, when you get the smaller spaces, um, you know, you get a lot of good people, um, you know, and a lot of good conversation going too. You kind of feels like a family stuff and people tend to bond more properly on, you know, spaces that ain't so crowded, you know? Yeah. And, and what, what's really good too is, is when you get that, people are more apt to ask questions um, that they might not necessarily ask um, because they feel that they should know that off the back of their hand or they, that they've already been taught it, but you know, they're afraid to ask, you know, again, Um, but what I have found, if someone's willing to ask a question, there's like 10 other people thinking it. Exactly. Well, I, I just followed, I just followed two persons on the spaces. I followed Gray, I followed Lisa, so guys do want to follow back. Uh, Jeff's an amazing soul. Lisa does some amazing stuff on, on Raven Chain. Um, and, and just bought a new new website marketplace. I think that's pretty cool, Lisa. I think you need to like. When are you gonna start ho- holding spaces for it? Um. So our dev has to do a security clearance on it, and then we'll start dropping it. Um. Because when we bought it, the security on it sucked. So, um. Once the security update is ready, we're going to try to integrate it with our other marketplace. So um, when that happens, uh, we'll be hosting spaces. Uh, I got the I got the help for you on that as well with hacking if you need it outside of your dev, if you need a certificate. OK, I'll uh, I'll double check with my business partner and see. OK, Um. Yeah, no, let's, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk about that later, but yeah, no, um, uh, I don't know. I think, um, uh, I think what you're, we were, I was actually talking with Philip the other day about Raven chain. He has, he's doing some stuff on there, but he's doing a lot of mining on Katie. So that's, that's where he's doing his Katie token. So love, love huge love for proof of work to, chains. But yeah, no. Um, so, Lisa, what else you got going on? Uh, me, nothing. Just like yeah. learning and taking in, and I'm uh, taking a course on solidity and trying to figure out how to write smart contracts and just expanding my knowledge. Check out uh, CryptoZombies. Dot io, I think, is what it is. They they also do a little bit of um, um, 
um, yeah, with uh, they 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 if you're already taking a solidity class, they add into that and um, go to sort of make it a fun gamification out of it. You get to make a, a, a zombie factory smart contract that creates zombies, and we know you like zombies. Oh, yeah, I totally like zombies, so I'll look into it. <laughs> All right, yeah. Jetman, what else do you got going on? Jetman? Yeah, sorry. I have to step oh. out a little bit to get someone done real quick. That's all right. Hey, yeah, no. Um, so what else, do you, what else do you have going on? Well, for this week, I just have plans to expand in this crypto shit. You know, so yesterday, um, last week was uh, really beautiful with a pump and dunk. So I was already uh, positioned and dunk. So I made a couple of money and that. So this week I'm looking after some germs too. That I can actually just jump in and play like a DJ and stuff. So, yeah. Nice. And uh, like I told you the last time, I'm here to get my foot in on this end. NFT stuff, so I'm just doing the DJ and shit because that's exactly what I know how to do in connecting with people from different places. And so, but this week I'm trying to um look into some arbitrage stuff, which is another aspect of like making some cash in crypto. So, yep. already got the the um got the wheel in motion. So let's see what happens. All right. Hey, yeah, no. Um, my DGen plays of the week was uh, some good calls on GMX. Um, did uh, leverage trading on on GMX. GMX hit some some good return to some good highs. Um, called the called the long. Um, uh, you know, after it consolidated from seventy three and hit back down to sixty nine. Um, I was on the subway when I was making these trades. So I missed my, my entry point um, and got in at like 69, um, 69, 43 or something like that. And um, made my exit at like 74, 33 at like a 50 X leverage. Um, and so that was a nice, nice little walk away with this week, um, you know, and then called it back on, on, a, on a short, um, so with my trading group, so that was a good call this week and, 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 you know, spent some time looking at it. Um, I think GMX has some, some good returns coming back. There's some, some arbitrage, uh, possibilities between Avalanche and Arbitrum version of, uh, GMX. So you might like to see that, uh, if you're looking to hold GMX and do the staking pieces on it, um, I would go with the Avalanche version because there's no capped emissions um, rewards, unlike but there is on Arbitrum. They cap the emission rewards uh, for the total pool. So go with the Avalanche version if you're not doing any leverage trading with it and you're just holding it in your wallet. Um, that is my DJ. That was my DGen play of the week, as well as some fun altcoins. Huh? <laughs> That's a great one. So, uh, congrats on your win, bro. Hey, thank you. Yeah, no, um, it's it's you know, TA is always a very fun thing to do. It's it's annoying because it, it you start to you you sometimes doubt yourself, but then the market automatically falls in line with what you predicted in price movement, and like you spend like an hour or so like looking at just like a short. You spend like two three hours looking at a short window. And if it falls in line with that window and it then and it falls in line with where your predictions are going to go, um, you know, it's one of those things where you just got to do it and then fall asleep, you know, especially if you're doing those high, high margin trades, high leverage trades. I always, you know, recommend having a good pool left, you know, for auto auto margin buy in because, you know, um, people will, you know, people short and people like you know, get their hands on tokens. And when stuff is t dumping, they, they try to, you know, pump in, they'll try to go dump it real quick so they don't get liquidated, um, which sucks. But um, yeah, it's, 
one of those things to where um, it was a good play this week um, and, and really nice. Like their turnaround with rewards on it. So, um, yeah, um, but I'm, I'm proud of your win as well, man. Good to go. Um, with that, um, Jetman, any any closing words tonight? This morning for you, any any closing words? Ten seconds. Um, thank you for having me on the spaces. It's nice to connect with some lovely people. Awesome. It's always good to connect with you, sir. Uh, Lissa, closing words, 10 seconds. I love you, Taco, and hopefully I see you in New York or L.A., and I always learn new stuff on your spaces. And thank you for having me as always. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you for coming. We will see we will see you in definitely NFT NYC, possibly LA. We will see. Um but yeah, no. Um that is that is the great thing. So all right. Uh and with that as always I end all my spaces with the wisest words of wisdom. A closed mouth cannot be fed, and you cannot feed a closed mouth. Um, and, Lissa, don't forget to send me that DM on Telegram. And with that, knock, knock. Who's there?